Yo, what is good, you guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video. And uh, as you can tell from the title down below, we are still reacting to Wild Cards The War album. The next track that's up is a track that goes by the name of Sunblood. And that is sun as in outside. You know what I mean? That big, large, glowy thing that looks small to us because it's so far away from us. Uh, yeah, Sunblood. Anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, uh, shoot, that's my train of thought. No. So yeah, guys, uh, once again, this is Wild Cards, uh, Some Blood. Again, this is fresh off the War album. So uh, yeah, without further ado, like to hear, hear, go. So far, this is another one that's got that old school vibe to it, much like Arson Rap. You know what I mean? Got an old school style beat. So, uh, yeah. Truly introduce you to Steven, my dude was newly released and we used to cruise through the regions and through the Tuesday night meeting we groove and move through the reading I spew some truths about me and my loose abuse how I leave it my youth was bruised from the beatings it's true I threw down a speed and subdued and truly defeated my music clue in the pieces and truth reduce all the grief and I had to lose it to keep it learn to pray to the sky his little sister sat in the window to wave us goodbye when I pick him up we was riding we used to talk about life and all the vices and Tyson is to invite all the strife and so it sounds like this is a bit of an origin story. He's giving us a little bit of background as to what his childhood was like. So, uh, yeah. I'm living my passion, subtract the words, it's the actions that don't prevent me relapsing. And now we both got dead homies whose lives ended in violence. Most of my dead homies are off from overdose and suicides. Then some time had passed, and our connection was lost. Till a friend had called and said he got shot and killed by cops. Rest in peace, Steve. Tell me the rest of the story. Yeah, I wish I could. Yeah, I wish I could. Tell you it all in some glory. Yeah, I wish I would. Said I wish I would. Told you something that could help you. Then I realized that I am not God. All I can do is remember and immortalize. Let me introduce you to. Love that hook, man. It's real, really, really good hook, man. I like that. Kind of takes you back. Got that old school flavor to it. And a mortal lie. Let me introduce you to Michael. Michael could light up the room, and his life was vibrant like lightning and truly bright in the mood. And his tribe had liked him, they loved him. You see, they smiles and grew. They recognized the liveliness and vibe of life would improve. And at times, think Michael had knew that his life was cycling through and supplying life to his crew was shining like iris and bloom. And then came the night when the doom was spliced and the light was consumed. And he partied just a bit too hard, and Michael died way too soon. Here's the problem I'm facing when always writing these lyrics that not one verse could be. All right, so the more I'm listening to it, it sounds more like a like it's actually a tribute track to a fallen Conrad and everything. And um, yeah, Phil, if you're watching, man, I'm so sorry for your loss, man. Justice to describe people this dearest, people worthy of living, but now they're no longer hearing. I'm screaming at the spirit world and hope the spirit can hear it. My girl Gigi said that people are in your life for a season, so just appreciate them now. You never know when they're leaving. I Yo, that's facts right there, man. And that's that's the problem with um with life, man. You don't really appreciate your loved ones, whether it's a whether it's a friend or a family member, until they're gone. You know what I mean? You know, we we tend to um we tend to take our our friends and family for granted. You know what I mean? When they're here, you know what I mean that's that's facts, man. You know what I mean, appreciate the ones you got while they're still here. Don't wait until it's too late. To really show how much you you appreciate them and love them, man. Because you never know what tomorrow will bring. You know what I mean? We're not promised another second at, of life. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Any any grudges you're holding against somebody, man? Let it go. You know what I'm saying? It's not worth it. You know what I mean? Can't do nothing about it except to think and just pray and talk about them in my songs and hope their family's okay with it. Rest in peace, Mike. Tell me the rest of the story. I wish I could, yeah, I wish I could Tell you it all ends in glory Yeah, I wish I would, said I wish I would Told you 
something that can help you Then I realize that I am not God All I can do is remember And immortalize you Let me introduce you to fill up a moody dude Who can kill it, he fuses musical skill and lose just using acrylics, a youth confusing head fillers was viewed in nuisance and villain used to chewing up pills cause he's usually glued to the ceiling, his music proved he's the illest, was truly chewed up from fillings until the day he found dope as a solution to heal him, and now a crew to co-sign him, got him high and did dirt but they had no idea his chemical imbalance Alright, pretty self-explanatory here, he's basically talking about how he dealt with the, with the loss, you know obviously he took the drugs and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You know, we all deal with, we all grieve in many different ways. Sometimes, some of us grieve in the healthiest of ways. Sometimes, some of us grieve in the unhealthiest of ways. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, it, it, that's the thing about, you know, when you lose someone who's so close to you, you know what I mean? You just never know. It, it affects us all differently. You know what I mean? We're all human at the end of the day. We all make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Ain't none of us perfect, but it's never too late to turn around. You know what I'm saying? To have that turnaround and have that turnaround for that's for the better you know what i'm saying anyone can change guys whether it's for the worse or for the better either way anyone can change was worse and so he just slowly went crazy his homies started to notice they started not hanging around him i led him into their homes and he tried to soldier and focus but now it's full blown psychosis and decided suicide because he had lost all his hope so he so being that he was uh going through you know th this phase of his life you know what i mean it it was having an, an effect to those around him um he pushed many people away to where he was all alone and it drove him down into a depression man man you know this is this is one of those realest one of those, one of those real ones man that really gets to you man gets you in the feels just pulled off his belt and tried to choke himself dead standing by a dumpster barefoot alone in his head except he Suicidal tendencies, you know what I mean? Because, you know, he, he was at, at his darkest, lowest point in his life. You know what I mean? Didn't have anyone, you know, around him, you know what I mean, to care for him. Because, like I said, he pushed everyone away. But, I mean, you know, that's, that, that's life sometimes, man. You know what I mean? It affects us all differently. He thought of his mother, how he just let her down. But the only difference is that Phil lived to tell about it. Tell me to... And we're all, well, at least me, you know what I'm saying, Phil, I'm glad you're still here, and I'm glad you're still making great music, man. You know what I mean? Keep it up, man. You know what I'm saying? Stay up, man. The rest of the story, yeah, I wish I could, yeah, I wish I could. Tell you it all ends in glory, yeah, I wish I was, and I wish I would. Told you something that could help you, and I realize that I am not God. All I can do is remember and immortalize you in the song. Oh, Alright guys, so that was Wildcard uh Sunblood from the War album and Man, this is one that gets you like right here, right in the fields, man, I'm telling you. Man, that was that, that, that was that was something, man. I was definitely feeling that, you know what I mean? Man. And it, it hits home for me because I know people, you know what I'm saying, who've fallen down that path, you know what I mean? And some people, you know, can actually um, pull themselves out of that situation, you know what I mean? And some can't, you know what I mean? Like I said, we're all different at the end of the day, you know what I mean? We all deal with, with certain aspects of life differently, you know what I mean? It just makes us human, you know what I mean, at the end of the day. And um, just just like I said, too, uh, right before this, this, this closing, you know what I mean? I'm glad the homie's still here, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad he's... Still here, uh, giving us quality music and everything, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, yeah, man. You know what I mean? I, I can't imagine, and I don't want to imagine what, what it would be like um, if we lost a homie, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, from, from what I could tell, from what I could see, he's a good dude, you know what I'm saying? Just wants to make great music and share it with the world. Just wants to share his story with the world and everything, you know what I'm saying? Which, nothing wrong with that. Definitely the healthiest of ways of doing it, you know what I'm saying, with music, because music, like I said, it, it's great therapy. Eminem has this philosophy, too. Music is great therapy, and I, I agree with that philosophy, you know what I'm saying? It really helps, you know what I mean, to cope with um, the, the uh, things that, that you've gone through, you know what I'm saying? It helps to get it out and share your story, because I'm sure, you know, there are people out there who can relate to this, you know, me especially can relate to this, you know what I mean? 
yeah, man. This is this is definitely a, a solid, solid track. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, very, very beautifully done. You know what I'm saying? Um, love that hook. You know what I'm saying? He really, he really put his feels into this one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, love, love the beat, man. Love, love them verses too, man. The, the delivery overall very well done. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be <laughs> listening to this, you know, very often in the car. To be honest, you know what I mean. Uh, especially if I'm, if I'm driving and stuff, because. Last thing you want to do is get emotional while, while you're driving. This is one of those ones where, like, you know, you got to sit down and if you feel like just chilling or whatever, you want to just listen to some music, whatever. You want to just listen to, like, um, you know, to, to, like, stories and stuff. And this is one you got to just sit down and chill and vibe with. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, and just know that, you know what I mean, you're not the only one who's been through hell. Other people have been through hell as well. Everyone's got got it's got a story. Everyone's got a struggle, guys. That's the vibe I'm getting from this track. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, I love that. You know what I mean? It's a dope song. I'll definitely be listening to it again. But like I said, I won't be listening to it while I'm driving, though. You know what I mean? But that's just me. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but yeah. Anyways, guys, let me know how you feel down below. Uh, I'm sorry, kind of a uh, you know, oh, man, bit of a emotional video. You know what I mean? But, uh, but yeah. Let me know if you guys are feeling this song down below in the comments. Uh, you guys know what it is. You know what to do here. Thumbs up, thumbs down, depending on your mood, how you feel. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, if you're new here, don't forget to, uh, subscribe. Hopefully, you'll consider subscribing to my channel. And, uh, be a part of the Jason JV family. Would love to have you. And, um, yeah, if you guys want to listen to this track, uh, Uninterrupted, I highly, highly encourage you to buy this new album. Uh, get it on iTunes, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. If you're, if you're going to a wild card show that's in your area, pick up a hard copy, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. Support the homie. You know what I'm saying? For real, man. Support the homie, you know what I'm saying? Because he makes, like I said, he makes real quality music. You know what I mean? But anyways, guys. Till the next one, it's your boy Jason JV, and y'all take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.